I am Chris Jericho, and I'm playing Scott Bones Jameson, who is the former leader of Clash and Bones, a huge rock and roll band, but he's now retired from the music business, and he is the owner of a horse ranch. So Country Hearts is basically about Bones starting his new life as a horse farm owner. So he's a little bit out of his element, uh, as am I, to learn all of the vernacular and all of the uh, scientific words for uh, specimens. You know, for a rock star, you sure are getting a hang of this breeding thing. The other issue for Bones is that his wife and daughter are still on the road and our two other daughters are just getting into the business. So there's a lot of uh, conflict there between their uh, desires to make it in show business, but also their desires to have families and have husbands, have stable family lives, we're a very close family. And this, this, this is the perfect example of how things will be if you're off touring with Tori. So that's kind of the idea behind it all and Bones having to deal with all of these different uh, issues in his life that he has never had to deal with before. More than anything, just the diversity of the role for me. You know, Chris Jericho obviously comes from the wrestling world, but also come from the rock and roll world, so I understand that. But most of the movies I've done have been action movies, horror movies. So to get a chance to kind of play the good guy for once. So it was interesting just to show up on set and for, you know, the first time in my acting career, just really get into the drama of it, you know, and, and just basically worrying more about the situations and the conflict that occurs because of the characters and the families than the conflict of someone chasing after you with, you know, a butcher knife or whatever it may be. So I like that idea. I've enjoyed all of the experiences I've had on set throughout my years, but this one I think is a little bit leaning towards one of my favorites just because of those reasons. It's not what you might expect Chris Jericho to do, but if you know my career and know how I like taking chances and, and I like being diverse, it's exactly what you would expect Chris Jericho to do. Saying it to you sounds kind of funny, but the idea on the horse ranch side of it is he's trying to breed you know, a champion foal. And then he's also got these two daughters of his that are going through the exact same ups and downs of the music business that he went through. And keep this in mind, if you sign, once the ink on that paperwork dries, there's no turning back. They're gonna own everything. As if that wasn't enough, he's also away from his wife, who is now a touring, very successful musician in her own right, and his youngest daughter, who's with her on the road. So everywhere he looks, there's, there's problems for him. Now, once again, this is not, uh, you know, meteors showering down from the heavens or, or a tsunami coming out of the, the ocean to wipe everybody away, but they're real life problems for a guy who's lived most of his life behind kind of the fantasy of being a rock star. Now, this is the reality of it. I think it's hard for him to adapt to all those things at once. There's a big uh, spiritual element to it, uh, which I think helps him get through. And there's also a strong family bond. You know, they're gonna get through anything together. And there's also, you're pulling for the daughters. You know what I mean? They write a new song that's a hit, but will the hit be taken away and given to somebody else? This is real life problems with a pretty special family. And I think everybody can relate to that. And I think that that's where the, the most uplifting moments happen, where they're real life people having real life problems and seeing and doing their best to get through them. And when they do, that makes us feel good as viewers. My preparation is done more on set because obviously learning lines is, is quite easy for me just from years of, of wrestling. I really feel locked in when I'm in costume on set. So for me, preparation is more of who is this character? What does he represent? What does he do? You know, who does he remind you of? When you think of him on the surface and when you're doing more dropping into the role. I did for those reasons, you know, for, for a guy, like listen, Chris Jericho is all about trying something new, leaving one career and going into another, you know? Um, I've never been an addict, but what if I was? What if I had to stop you know, drinking, which meant I couldn't play with my band anymore. What's the sacrifice there? You know, my band's 
getting fairly successful. We have a gold record, we, we tour the world. What happened if I had to step back or be in danger of losing everything? So I can kind of relate to him from, from, from my standpoint. You know, I can relate to Bones for that. I think the friends of Jericho, if you will, will appreciate this. And there'll probably be a whole element of people that have never watched a movie on Up TV or watched, you know, a movie on another channel that, that's similar to this, with this, you know, like, a, like an after school special, you know, like, like, a, like a Hallmark film or whatever it may be, that they're gonna go, well, let's check this out. Like, what, what does he do? Like, where's the fight scene? Where's the, where's the shootout? And it's like, oh, there isn't any. And then I think that, that will kind of envelop them into the show, envelop them into the drama. We've got a great cast. All, all the actors are tremendous and all the, you know, there's been some really cool scenes in this, in this film. Like I really went like, wow, that's different for anything I've ever done before. So I, I'm hoping and I know that there will be a segment of the Jericho fan base that tunes into this with having zero experience watching any of these movies before. And guess what? I'm one of them. <laughs>